Beloved ones, the light within you grows and grows. Even while the world is going through in so many ways transformation, evolution, deep change, and also death, there is the expansion of light. Inner light also expands as the infinite oneness expands and you can benefit from returning to an inner focus and allowing that vaster light to inform you. This moment of embodiment is challenging. All life includes challenges and challenges help you to grow, focus, evolve, come together. All moments have opportunities. How do you play? How do you relate to life, now? The grief many of you feel is natural given all you've experienced recently. The isolation, and loss of many things that you took for granted and loved, things that gave you a sense of stability and comfort, and even those things which gave you meaning which you may no longer be doing. These losses have been many and ongoing. It is natural that you would feel perhaps shaken up, and feel more emotional than you usually think of yourself feeling. Feeling is wonderful. Allowing yourself to feel as you do is a great gift. We encourage you to breathe deeply into your feelings and let go of trying to change them. Rather, simply let them flow. Remind yourself that they are temporary, as all experiences are, and enjoy the richness of your humanity. This is true no matter what the feeling is. You can empower yourself to realize the temporary nature of its and also allow it to move through you without resistance and therefore, let life flow. You can respond to yourself and how you are feeling with tremendous care and love, just as you would another person who is dealing with big or challenging feelings. So often you save your compassion for someone else. We encourage you to bring it home now, and often, realizing you each of you have been very challenged and may still be, by all that is going on and how you are being affected. Dare to be open to your feelings and also, dare to be open with one another. This is a time for connection. For caring. For kindness. To you, and others. Every person in the world is going through big changes right now. The planet is going through big changes right now. Change is quite hard for most of you, and most of you are being challenged by the changes in your own life and the world around you. The combination of all this change makes you feel less stable if you've relied upon external things to give you a sense of security and most of you quite naturally do. So, realize that new forms are arising. New possibilities lie in chaos and the changes can lead to better things. It may be bumpy. It may be uncertain and hard. You might find your life taking turns you did not expect. See if you can refrain from being certain it won't work out for you, or won't serve you whatever is going on and just be especially caring and generous with yourself and anyone else that you feel you can also offer that kind of loving kindness. Gentleness is the most valuable quality right now. We'd like you all to cultivate peace, but we know in times like this, that may be challenging to foster or sustain. But gentleness, and then, secondarily, a sense of humor, a willingness to be touched and smile at the smallest things that bring you joy these things will serve you. Recognize the improvements that are taking shape no matter how small. See if you can focus on incremental steady change that is more loving, more open, more inclusive, more caring, more of the world you want to create and experience. See if you can notice those moments. More smiling. More kindness. More warmth. Give friendly appreciative feedback to others when you have the energy and ability to genuinely do so. Be part of bringing about a new kind of humanity and a planetary shift into greater openness, inclusivity, and kindness. This future is arising in so many ways. We see it and we are also supporting it. You can consciously support it too. Bring yourself into a state of openness and faith. For you can tap into your sincere faith in life, in the universe, in the angelic, in God, in the divine, in nature in the kindness of your true friends or even a beloved pet that can give you strength now. Remember to do this often and you will feel renewed. Learn to lean on the inner domain of energy that is eternal. To give you strength for life and courage for hope. Don't bypass anything in the world, but do pay attention to when you are overloaded and simply need quiet and rest. When you've taken in all you can, for now, stop. Learn to stop before things wear you down if possible. 
Learn to notice how you are doing and to take even better care of yourself. Give generously to yourself, nourish your body mind with time outdoors, with feelings of simple joy and the mantra of knowing, this too shall pass, while also believing and noticing the good things taking form in your world, each moment. Let the recognition of these good things give you strength to endure the difficulties, to be present rather than look away from those in need and also to love yourself, immensely. We are with you now and always. Know beloved ones, that there are always choices that serve you even when you are weary, scared, feeling beaten, in pain, or just can't see the way forward. The way forward is unfolding without you doing a thing. Just exhale. Sit and let life flow for a bit. Receive it. It's a gift. It's yours to behold. Open and let us love you. We are with you. Always. I am Archangel Michael with the Galactic Dragons and the Council of Radiant Light.